Welcome everyone. Mike Elliott back here, High Button Sports, bringing you day two of the Day of Champions. Four games on the docket today. We're starting off with the U13 AA. Bedford Blues White taking on the Pictou County Crushers. If yesterday's games are any indication of what today is going to bring, we are excited. A lot of great action, and we expect the same thing here between these two teams as we wait for both teams to get set up here. We'll get the starting goaltenders. Bedford down below us in their blue jerseys. Picto coming out in their whites. Looks like between the pipes for the Blues, it's gonna be LaPointe, number one. And down 200 feet across from him is number 31, Evan LeBlanc. These goalies will be ready for the game. Starting lineups now, lining up at center. I'll do my best to try to talk over Wade. He does such a great job here announcing these games. So here has the referee at center ice. We are ready to go. Sunday, day of champions, provincial action. And starting it off, here's Picto in their own zone, but here's Bedford knocking them in too deep. Crusher's looking around behind their own net, trying to rim it around the boards, looking for the breakout. Gets stopped here at the line. But then the shot is blocked. Swain, he's coming down the short side. He tries to get there, and there's the first penalty of the game. Going to be early. Referee has his arm up behind the play as the Crusher trying to break in on that short side, but gets taken down on the trip and only 22 seconds here into the first period. Crusher's going on an early power play, waiting to see which player it is. Nobody headed to the box as of yet. The Lions been coming back to the bench, I believe, to call somebody back. And it's gonna go against number seven, Max Samuelson. He's going to go serve two or less. So an early power play advantage here for the Crushers. Early morning game. Starting off day two of the Day of Champions. Face off coming to the right of the goaltender. It comes right back to point. There's a deflection. And what a save as it went right off the defender in front. Looks like the puck was going wide. As from the blue line, Hollis ripped the wrist to right that looked like it was going wide, but it hit the defender in the shoulder, came right in on LaPointe, and he had to be careful now. And there's another shot right off the draw. Getting a paddle on that, goes to the corner. Now the Crusher's in behind the net, trying to come over with a wraparound backhand, but nothing on the side of the net there. They shot in the door, and then trying the other side, and a good job, LaPointe, seeing some action here early. Now Bedford Grace Puck sent it all the way down the length of the ice. They're looking to get a change on the penalty killers. Hollis picking up behind his own net, rims around to his D partner, looking up ice, up through center, can't quite handle the pass. Now it's picked off by Woolley. He's over the blue line. He's trying to get a step, can't get behind the, the defender, Codwell. They battle for it in the corner, Crusher come up, they kind of go back short side. There's a shot and another save. And somebody's awake between the pipes this morning as LaPointe gets one at point blank range. Able to make the save, cover up. A minute 14 remaining here in the power play. Quick shots here on the Blues goalie. Coming up big already early, helping his team out. The lines have blown the whistle. They're trying to push those wingers back outside the circle. Crushers get the draw back up top. Looking for the long wrist. There's a shot low. Rebound loose. And getting a paddle on that. Just able to clear the front of the net. Now Bedford picks it up and able to get it out to the neutral zone. They get back on side though, picked up, trying to go on that short side, Meisner. Meisner trying to pull his way out front, likes to go in behind, still with it now in the corner. Gun fakes the pass off, now in the backhand, now drops it back up top. There's another wrister, that's blocked in front, doesn't make it through. Meisner in the corner, puts it in behind. Picked up by Hedford, he tries to clear. Fires the blue line, but it does get out, as Little couldn't quite handle the clearing attempt. Now a chance for Bedford to kill some time with 30 seconds to go here in the power play. Short-handed on that far side, below the circle, looking to come out front with it, still has it. Lexico go back up top, but Cobwell had to retreat back into the center. Now he's gonna skate the puck in. Down to 15 seconds to go in the power play. Maybe one last chance here for the Crushers on the power play as McDonald trying to bring it off the wall. He chips it at the head. Swain gives chase. Still looking for it, but 
Bedford defender able to pick that up, send that back into the crusher zone. That's going to do it for the power play. Penalized player back on the ice. We're back to five on five. Crusher short up towards center. Getting back there first for the Blues. And throwing it up to center. They hit the red line. They look dumping in deep. Both teams go to the corner. Bedford gets there first. Comes out with it. Goes off escape. Picked up by McDonald for the crusher. Try to get the breakout going. They do get outside the blue line. Now it's picked up at center. Dumped right back in by the Blues. And hard off the boards. Takes a crusher bounce. Shaping up for a three on one. Going that far side. Pass out front. Swain looking for a shot. Gets a shot in net. And he scores! Along the ice. Number 10 for the crushers. As the puck was moved over front through a shot on net. Never a bad idea. And early here in the first period, Crusher strike first, and it's one to nothing. And wait for the official score call from Wade in the timekeeper's box. Anyway, it's 11.58 here left in the first period. Crusher scoring first. Well, back at center, here's the Blues. They chip it inside the zone. Crusher trying to chip it back out. It's blocked at the blue line. Trying to work his way to the front of that. Back to the blue line again. Puts it back in deep in the corner. Johnson looks out front. Goes off escape. Victor's able to crush it up. They put it in at the way for offside. There's Sweeney with the goal. There's a shot and another goal. As they're listening to Wade with the goal announcement. And look at the selly on this one. The old selfie selly as Meisner, number five. Just like that, all of a sudden, Crusher's two quick goals. 11.26 now to go in the first period. 2-0 Picto. Back at center. Scramble for it, picked up by the Crushers. Meisner just scored one moments ago as Wade still announcing the first goal. He chips the puck in deep. Picked up by the Blues. They put it by the far corner. Did a pass out front. But getting a paddle on that with LaPointe. All the way to the blue line. Bedford able to kick it out. Trying to get a puck race. Crushers get back there first. Looking for it at the blue line. Shipped up ahead. In behind the play is Cameron. He's by himself up there. Trying to put a little move on. Trying to get by the defender. They're going to stick out. They can't quite pick it up. Now on the backhand throws a shot. That goes off the side of the net. Bedford able to rim around the boards. The winger trying to chip it up. Kept it at the blue line. MacArthur puts it in deep. Lachlan Meisner with the goal. And then they are again inside the net. Is shot on and the rebound's cleared. The Blues able to chip it up into the Picto zone. They're going to go for a skate around the back with that. Throws it up along the wall. McDonald trying to chip the puck out. That's kept in at the blue line momentarily. There's Picto's first goal scorer moving the puck up to McDonald. McDonald looking for some room now. Trying to go on that short side. Good active stick by Codwell. Breaking up that play. The Blues rimming around along the boards now. A battle for it. Trying to come off with it. Picked up again. Boudreau now behind his own net. He looks to come out in front. Loses the handle. Maybe a chance here. There's a shot. And another save as Burke was the lucky recipient. That puck was left for him. Woodley dumps the puck in deep. Codwell deep in his own corner. Has a little bit of room in front of him. Looks up. But long stretch pass. Can't quite handle it. Crusher's all over the four check here right now. Bedford again trying to clear it to the blue line. And it does get out. Second effort. But getting back, and now the referee's arms up as well. We're going to get an interference call. I believe it's going to go against Picto. And it's going to go against number 11, Levi McLean. So a chance here for the Blues now on the power play to try to get on the scorecard. Maybe look to cut this lead in half on the power play. 9-19 remaining here in the first period. As they line up on the draw. Picto wins it forward, and they're going to go for a skate. Twainy dumps it in deep. So they throw right on goal. There's a big rebound. Gets his own rebound. Gets a second shot, and then another shot. That one gets blocked in front. 
Picto short-handed with some chances here, but now the puck comes loose. Three on two, shaping up back the other way. Looking to break wide with some speed, but a nice little poke check there by the Picto defender. Trying to see him turn around here to get his number. Great poke check, and it was by Meisner. And he's able to put the puck deep into the the zone of the Blues, and there they are again. As little this time picks out passing attempt up, keeping the Blues deep. They're back on the far side again, trying to chip it out. And it seems like every time they turn around, there's a white jersey on top of them. This time with a little bit of room, able to chip up ahead at center, picked up, looking to break wide, chips it in deep, gives chase. Quinn Lee, it comes all the way back to the blue line, but just coming off the bench, able to keep it in momentarily. And now lands on a pick though stick, a little bit of a puck race back in the blue zone. Able to get there first to Samuelson. He rims it around. It chips up along the boards. Quinley picks it up, looking for some room to move, trying to break wide. Puts the brakes on along the boards, looking to set up. Comes back to the blue line. Looks for the open corner now. Behind the net, gets taken down, but the referee's arm stays down as well. Picked up with a chance to pick it up. And they're able to clear it just outside the zone. 25 seconds remaining here in the power play. Picked up behind their own net. Hollis tries to clear it out. Gets it up to center. And we have one last rush chance here. As the Blues over the blue line, put a pass out front. Puck bubbling around. Shot towards the net, doesn't make it through. Gets it back, that's a backhand attempt. And it's still in the feed. They try to bang away out of here in front of the goaltender. And there's a shot again. His first real test of the hockey game was LeBlanc. Making a nice save there as the penalized player is back on the ice. We're back to five on five. And the Blues have it here at center. There's a shot on the short side. And there's LeBlanc again. Seeing his second shot. Shots on goal now. 10 to two in favor of the Crushers, and they lead by two. 7.03 remaining in the first period. I want to thank everybody again for tuning in. Mike Elliott back here with High Button Sports. We're here all day. This is game one of four. Looking forward for some great action. This one has started us off in great fashion. There's a backhand, right off the, and a rebound. All right, able to get cleared up there. LeBlanc getting a couple of shots here in the, line in the last few moments. And here comes Picto back in the zone. Blue's able to get a stick on that. Back the other way. Danton over the blue line, trying to get the puck deep. Up front there. Back the other way. Woodley looking over front, trying to connect with Reed. He was crashing the net, but a good job by the Bedford defender to tie up his stick. The Blue's looking to clear. They chip it up ahead. In behind the play. Danton. Can't quite retrieve the puck, and we recognize that last name as I look down at the bench and realize whose dad it is on the coach of the Bedford team. We'll keep an eye on him. There's a shot, and there's another save. Rebound, though, as LeBlanc had it momentarily in the glove and then dropped it out, but he gets some help from his teammates, and Picto was able to clear it back up to center. There comes Bedford again over the blue line. Peacock can't quite get too far inside the line. Crushes clear it back out to the Bedford zone. Chip back the other way. Here comes the Crushers again. They kind of go back and forth through the neutral zone here. Playing a little game of ping pong as they just go through neutral. Now in Bedford again. Can't get any further than the blue line. Then kicking it ahead was uh, Swain. And got to get that all the way down, but kicked it a little bit too far. Maybe a little soccer player there as well as he had lost his stick. And as it goes all the way to the length of the ice, ice is going to be the call. 5.23 remaining here in the first period. They play three 15 periods here for the Day of Champions. We go two 15s, and then they'll flood, and then we'll come back for the third period. So far, this first period has been a great one. And we're looking forward to all the action coming up here today. There's a shot on the short side. LeBlanc had to be careful with that one as he makes another save. Now it comes to the corner. Trying to put it back in deep. Quinley, he looks out front. Trying to find some room. He throws another shot and getting another pad on that is LeBlanc. Now back the other way. Here comes the crusher. McDonald hits the red line, dumps it in deep. They give chase. Goes to the corner. Comes in behind the net. They bang away at it. Bedford has it. 
to the far wall, looking at base now. Hits the red line, little cross ice pass, looking for some room to move. But nowhere to go as there's a sea of white in front. Now back the other way, comes number 10 for the Crushers. He got one on three, he still has it. Like, he tries to go for the wrap round as he's waiting for some teammates as they're making a change. Sweeney elects to go back in deep while his reinforcements come in. The Blues now looking for along the boards, getting fired at the blue line, but not out. There's a wrist shot from the blue line that's blocked in front. Sweeney again on the backhand. He seems to be everywhere on this shift. Throws one towards the net, doesn't make it through. Picked up down by Martel. They hit the red line, little chip and chase as they gain entry to the zone. Put in deep, picked up first by the Crush as they rim it around, picked up. Great back and forth here between these two teams early. Back in their own zone though for Bedford is Codwell. He reversed it back the other way. Little stick handle now, moved up ahead. Over the blue line, Johnson, he rips this shot. That gets deflected high into the glass behind the net. <laughs> Picked up with a chance to clear. The head man, the puck. Woodley dumps it in deep. He gives chase, takes a player stick with him. He had two sticks momentarily. It was all tied up. Dale to pick it up, tried to go in front. Right back to the blue line, and there's a shot. And just getting a toe on that was LaPointe. Bedford able to chip it ahead. Icing waved off as it gets put in deep. Sutherland looking for it now. He rims it around. Seems to be the play here for the Crushers as there's always a player on that far side. Outlet pass now to Meisner. Meisner trying to find some room. He breaks wide on the short side here, but can't get by the defender. Looking to regroup on the backhand now in the high slot area. Pass on the backhand side. Looking out front and right through the blue paint, but nobody home for the Crushers. Now again, trying to bring it in. Gets stick checked, looks for it again. Puts it in deep now. At number 10 for the Crushers, as I mentioned earlier, he's all over the puck every time he's on the ice. Looking for it now again. And deep in the corner, still battling. There he is, Sweeney trying to come up front, but can't quite connect with the pass. Blues able to chip it ahead, two on two, shaping up down the other end. Trying to squeeze his way along the boards. Can't quite bring the puck with him. Loose now, both teams looking for it. Bedford able to put it in the corner. Battle behind the nets. Chipped up ahead, Meisner. He looks up ice, right at center. Oh, can't quite connect as Cameron was looking for it. Right at the center. Back the other way, comes inside the zone. Blues chip it right back up. Now Little for the Crushers, gets turned back the other way by Poulot. There's a pass that's picked off. Looking to find some room now. Backhand, short side, trying to pull back up front, and there's the old school poke check. Love to see it. As LeBlanc gets a paddle on that breaks up that scoring opportunity. Looking for MacArthur at center, a little bit too far for him. Chance for Bedford to chip it back inside the zone. Just a little bit inside the blue line, but there's the Crushers to knock it right back out. Samuelson now. Passes it ahead. Boulot looking for it. He's in the zone. He gets stick checked inside the blue line. And here comes MacArthur. He goes the other way. Woodley chips it in. No icing. Down in the corner. Still trying to battle for it. Those two collide. Both players go down. They let them play here. Bedford with some speed now. Back the other way. Little fake one way. Shot the other way. And LeBlanc reads that. Makes the save. Comes to the corner. McDonald. Battling hard with Poulot. Here comes Sweeney. Back again the other way. Last minute play. First period with some room, with some speed. But a little poke check there is getting a stick on that. Was 15 of Bedford. But still inside his own. Here's the chance. Short side. And couldn't quite get the shot he was looking off as the defender got a piece to that. Back the other way. 35 seconds to go. Martel. Brings the puck over the line, high slot, rips the shot, and there's another save by LeBlanc. Crushers look to chip it up ahead. 25 seconds to go, one on one. Reed with the puck, trying to toe drag his way through, and pokes it a little bit too far. As good job by the Bedford defender to give him no time and space. 15 seconds as they hit the red line, dumping in deep. Sutherland back there for the Crushers. 
gets the puck stripped behind the net, looking to come out front, back to the blue line, one-timer, and it's huge shot, but a bigger save as the horn gets ready to go to end the first period. That's gonna do it for us here after one. What action end to end. Great game to start this. After one period of play, shots on goal 14 to eight. Crushers lead two to nothing. We'll take a short one to two minute break here. Be right back for the second period. And we are back. Second period action just that quick. But that first period is any indication of what this game is going to be. Crushers came out. It was 10 nothing shots on goal there for a bit. But Bedford right back into this. LeBlanc had to make some huge saves, especially towards the end of that first period. But right out the faceoff draw here. Here's the Crushers. Pass out front. And yeah, couldn't quite handle it. But there's a pass in front. And does get behind the goalie. But squeaks out the other line. It was a beauty pass out front. But couldn't quite handle it. So Crusher's coming that close to making it three nothing. Now they look for it here at center. Now nice little pass over, over the zone. Shot on net and redirected, but misses on that far side. Crusher's looking to clear up at center now, trying to chip it ahead as Beaver takes a hit as to make the play. Even though there's no hitting here at U13 AA, play continues. Sutherland trying to clear the zone. Got a blue jersey all over him. They're looking to come out. Pass out front. Chip towards the front of the net. But couldn't quite get it on net as it comes to the corner. Sutherland picks up again. Looks at a long stretch pass for Cameron. Bouncing puck. Comes inside the blue zone. Getting back first. Riviera. Looking for it now. There's Seth Swanee again looking for it. He chips it ahead. Bedford rims it around, far side, looking to hold the line now. They do, wrists are towards the front of that, that's blocked in front. Pick it up now is McDonald. Goes in behind the net. They put it back in deep. Swainy, looking out front, he's on the backhand, takes it all the way back behind the net, up top now. Shot from the blue line, look for a redirect, and it was, and had to be awake there was LaPointe, getting a, a left leg save on that. Swainy again behind the net. Looking to come out front on the pass to himself on the back of the net, walks out front, back in, and throws it right in the old bread basket of the point. The assistant captain of the Crushers has been fun to watch here so far in this game. Behind the net there, a little pass off the back of the net, comes back out front on the backhand. But good job for the point, able to read that play, make a great save. A minute 40 here into the second period. Face off control by the Crusher. Back to the blue line. Wrister from the point. Save made. Rebounds loose. And another save as LaPointe is on point here so far. He's at this second. Bedford able to pick it up. Headman pass to Smith. Smith looking to get over the line. He just stays on side as he pulls that puck through. Now he gets pushed to the corner as both players come down. And Crusher's able to pick the puck up. They're out the other way. Number 10 with that long wrist. He didn't get much on it, but a shot on net's a shot on net. He's looking for a change. Puck's in deep now. MacArthur trying to come out front with it. Can't quite bring it with him. In the corner now, chipped ahead. Woodley looking out front. He loses it behind the net. Now trying to pick it back. Now he has it trying to wrap around and getting a pad on that and that short side. And then the puck comes to the corner. Bedford with a good breakout. They're up over the center now. Two on two shaping up. Trying to get to the high slot. Moves the puck over. Shot on net. And getting a piece of it just going over the net as LeBlanc got a glove just enough to knock it over the bar. And now it's in the corner. Looking for it is Hollis. They move the puck up. They get as far as center. The Blues regroup back in their own zone. All the way deep in their zone. Looking up ice now. Chipped along the boards. It hits Smith in the back. 
Picto trying to keep the puck in here. They battle for it right below us. Now Sanders trying to milk it loose as well. He comes up with it, moves the puck over, and trying to do the old toe drag was Burke, but couldn't get by the Bedford defender. They're able to clear the zone. Backhand pass up through center. They try to gain the blue line, looking to dump it in deep. That was Danton. Danton still looking for it, trying to kick it ahead. But Picto was able to pick that up and off to the race's far side now. Looking for some room as Woodley. Trying to pass over front, nobody home, but it went off his stick. Up the goaltender, then the defender that comes right back in on the point. And he's going to take no chances, makes the cover. 11.23 left here in the second period. 2-0 hockey game. Shots on goal now 21-9 in favor of the Crushers. They lead 2-0 as the puck comes down into the corner. Looking for it. Oh, front. Trying for a shot short side. Picked up now behind the net by Sweeney. He looks in the wraparound. Brings it over front. And there's a quick shoulder check as LaPointe looked behind him. Wraparound almost worked, but it was underneath him. Whistle goes. Faceoff will stay inside the zone. Face off, back on the draw, picked up by the Crushers. Trying to walk right in was Cameron, but he couldn't quite get the backhand off. The Blues trying to clear. Fires the blue line, but not out. Second attempt. He's able to do just get outside the blue line. There's the Crushers right back again. There's a long wrister that's blocked in front. Meisner to take it to the corner, looking out front. Now it's picked up by the Blues here. A little chip ahead. Puck raised back and not going to make it far enough for icing. Crushers chip it ahead on the boards. Looking up ice now. Little stick handle, but loses the handle. A chance here for Bedford to throw the shot on net. That misses wide. Poulot gets it back to the blue line. There's a shot. LeBlanc sees that. Able to paddle that to the corner. Crushers chip it ahead. Gets as far as the blue line by not out. A little bit of pressure here from Bedford. They're in the zone, in the corner, trying to come back out from there. There's a rebound. Now Cameron looking for it, trying to get a stick on it. Again, this time, Picto is able to get it outside. It's going to be close to offside. It is offside. It didn't look like the Blues player cleared the zone. Pass up, trying to get through center. Didn't get much on it. Picked off by Bedford. There's a shot in the high slot area, and that gets a piece of the post. Bedford coming that close to cutting the lead in half. Crusher's able to pick the puck up now in their own zone, looking to bring it up. Moves it over. MacArthur over the blue line, trying to cut back out front. There's a shot short side, but flashing a little leather there was LaPointe. Able to make the save, cover up. 9.40 remaining now, second period. The crowd's into this one early. They have it correct. I see Bedford showed up in the bus. So an early bus ride here from Bedford to come up for the, this day of champions. Great to see. I'm sure the kids enjoyed that as they're going to remember this experience. And a great job by Hockey Nova Scotia putting an amazing weekend on for these kids. And it's been a great day of hockey yesterday, and this one's shaping up to be the exact same. Here's Bedford with the puck, chipping up ahead, looking to gain entry to the zone. Can't quite get by the defender. Still looking for it now as they battle in behind the net. There's the Blues trying to come out front with it. There's the Crusher's captain coming back to help, trying to chip it outside the blue line, but Johnson keeps it in. They put it back in deep. McLean chips it around. McDonald on that far side. Quick pass up. Hits McArthur. Breaks wide. Looks back over front for the pass. A little bit too far behind. Now it's picked up by Woodley. He goes over the other side. McDonald looking for it. Leads for McLean. He winds up. He fires a shot towards the net. Uh, missed on the short side. Now chipping in was Kosh. Looking out front. Bedford able to retrieve that, and they clear the zone. Looking for some room to move. Trying to break wide now. Far side, looks out front. Can't get a shot towards the net. Kosh in the corner, trying to free it. Got two blue jerseys looking for it. Crush is able to come up with it. Little dangle there. As MacArthur made the move, they throw the backhand pass far side for Burke. Takes a bounce on him as it comes inside the zone. Battle along the boards now. Trying to free it. They bang the puck back and forth. Bedford able to win that battle. Looking to chase it up. And getting pinched along the boards there. Was the Crusher's player. Now he's got to come up for a skate. I believe that's McLean. And he's looking for a change as he dumps it in deep. 
Bedford rims it around. Smith along the boards. Smith tries to chip it up. Look for Johnson trying to one hand that puck out. He does get it out. Now he could retrieve it at center. <laughs> He's looking for a change as he dumps it in deep. Crushers behind their own net. They reverse it the other way. There's Burke on that far wall. Burke looking for somebody open. Brings the puck up ice. Gets poke checked. But a second chance at the line. Keeps going. And inside the line. And that's going to be offside. 7.25 to go here. In the zone. Sorry, 7.25 remaining here. Second period. That's actually one of our few whistles, not to drink jinx anything, but we haven't many, many offsides or icings. And these two teams have uh, had a great back and forth battle. And here comes Bedford right the other way, looking for some room on that short side. They keep the puck in at the blue line, but this time the Crusher's able to pick it up. Woodley looking for some room, goes to the forehand, rips the shot on the point. Had a look over his shoulder, but made a nice save high in the chest area. Now Smith trying to clear. Chips up towards center. Looking for it behind the play is Danton. He took his player down looking for the puck. They're able to dump the puck in deep. Hollis <laughs> goes over the far wall, picks off by Bedford. There's a shot, short side. That goes off the outside of the net. Has some fans eager there, thought that might have went in. In the corner now. Goes off a skate right in front. There's a one-timer, what a shot it was, but putting his body in harm's way was Hollis blocking a howitzer from the blue line. What a one-timer that was from Lover Vieira. And he's able to keep that puck in deep. Cross again, trying to clear. Good job at the blue line by Bedford to hold the line. Back in deep, Hollis again, still looking at this time. He, he throws it hard at the net. That goes off the Blues player at the blue line, so no icing as the puck goes all the way down the, into the zone. Trying to catch Picto on a change here, and had to be careful. The whistle's gonna go, and I was looking down, trying to count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. It is gonna be a too many player call as they were making the change right at the bench. And the Crusher player rimmed it around and it hit his skate as the player wasn't quite into the bench yet. Looks like they're gonna get number 21 McDonald to serve the bench minor. So Bedford gonna head back to the power play. They're unable to, to score in their first opportunity back in the first period. 6.05 remaining here in the second period. So half a hockey game left here. See if they can cut this lead in half on the power play. They control the draw. Quinley looking for it. Trying to get the handle, can't quite pick it up. Chance here, shorthanded now, maybe for the Crushers. But Sweeney gonna knock that in deep. They rim it around now. Picto trying to get there first, and it is Sutherland, knock it back in deep. That lands on a Bedford stick. Looking to go cross ice now. Trying to skate up into it, a little bit too far, but able to hold the blue line. Now look for it, trying to get open. High slot area, throws a shot, but misses on that blocker side. Bedford again, blue line, looking towards the net. There's a wrister, traffic in front. Doesn't quite make it through, but a good job again by Bedford to keep it in. There's a shot, now that's redirected. That goes up over the net. Lots of traffic in front of LeBlanc, but the shots aren't getting through. This one lands on a crusher stick, and they're able to send it up through center. Samuelson back the other way, chipped inside the zone. Crusher got to get there first. They're going to send that right back in deep. Now maybe a puck race for it, and the point way outside of his blue paint. And he looked up and see number 16 coming in close to him. He's going to jump on that puck. We'll get a whistle in the Bedford zone. 58 seconds ago here in the power play. 5.03 remaining in the second period. Game one of four here this morning. As after this, we have 15U B, 15U A, and a shot right there, and we ripped one high, and we'll finish off the day with U18. And Bedford still on the power play, trying to gain entry to the zone. They do, but it's not going to be on side. And both linesmen blow the whistle. It's loud in here, so it's hard to hear. That's, uh, underneath us, we got the Picto County Crusher fans, and across the way, we see lots of Bedford moms with the with the white jerseys on. So great representation here from both teams. Here's Bedford over the line. Smith, he rips a long wrister, and there's LeBron with the save. Rebounds picked up, looking for some open ice, and they find it. They send it all the way back to the blue zone. 30 seconds ago here now in the power play. Chipped up through center. Smith again now. He gains entry to the blue line, looking to break wide. 
takes it to the corner. Has Kosh on him. Still has it in behind the net, looking for some help out front. Go back in pass. It's in the blue paint. They poke away at it. It's loose. We can see from here. And they are somehow able to pick the puck up, but not cleared. There's Cobwell with a shot from the blue line. LeBlanc gets another piece of that. Behind the net, reverses, back the other way, trying to find somewhere to go, trying to jam it home on the side of the net. They walk away and the whistle finally goes. LeBlanc's down. And there's the puck there underneath his glove as trying to go on that short side on the wraparound. But LeBlanc holding this post, being strong. Penalties over, we're back to five on five. Victor able to cool that off, 4.05 remaining second period. As if you weren't awake already, these fans got you awake here now. They are into this one. And it's been a great hockey game. It reminds me of yesterday morning's game as well. That was going back and forth. Ended up being a one goal game in the end. It was an exciting one. And here's one right off the draw. Pass up front. Look at the spinning turn. Shoots. And there's LeBlanc again with another save. Reed looking to clear. Fires the blue line, but Boudreaux keeps it in. Pass out front. They got a man open in front. They, they see him. They get the pass over. There's the backhand. And LeBlanc again shutting the door. Doing his job here for the Crushers. And there's Reed looking for it at center. Trying to chip it ahead. Does get it just inside the blue line. Been able to clear it back out. Now Sanders trying to put it back in. That hits Boudreaux right at the blue line. Burke and Danton go to the wall with it. They still battle hard. Takes a crusher bounce. It does come inside the zone. Looking for it now. Comes to the boards. High back hit lung and chipped out. And here's the crusher that's center. Going to dump that right back in. They get on side. LeBlanc plays it. Chipped up ahead. Doesn't clear the zone, but that lands on Boudreaux's stick. He's looking for some help. He's over the blue line. Looks towards the net. Throws a shot. Rebound. Loose. But able to clear. And now the Crushers do get outside the zone. But that's going to be touched by the Blues player that was stuck on the wrong side of the blue line. We'll get a whistle. Now we're going to... Bedford coach looking to have a chat with the referees. I'm not sure if we missed something, but Coach Danton saw something that he's unhappy with. There's no call on the play. The linesman explaining something over there. They shut the door. Nothing comes from that. 2.56 to go, second period. 2 0 hockey game. Bedford grabs the draw at their own blue line. Trying to go back the other way. And that one's got to be offside as it went off the skate and came just outside the blue line. So offside on one side, offside on the other side. Face off will come just in front of the penalty box area. 2.49 to go in here now in the second. <laughs> Excuse me. And there's the puck bouncing right at the blue line, looking for it. Back and forth. Picked up Sutherland under the own blue line. Looking up ice. Ships it ahead. There's Sweeney. Got over the line. Got to go back off front. Hits the pass. There's a shot. But that one goes off the outside of the net. Trying to go short side. Wrap around attempt. And another save as getting back was LaPointe. And now back the other way is Quinley. Looking for a little dangle. Can't get by the defender. The puck goes a little bit too far. A little picks up. Rims around the far side. Fires the blue line, but not out. Second chance, though. Picked up by the Crushers. But doesn't get out. As they still look for it. The Blues trying to keep them pinned in here. Now it's chipped up over the blue line and trying to do a little chip ahead to himself with Sweeney, but can't quite pick it up. Now Bedford's over the line. Trying to get by Little, can't do it. Crusher's chipped outside the line side again. Bedford right back in there, they tag up on the offside. Some time here to look up ice for the Crushers, but they can't clear. Poulot with it now. He throws a shot on them. There's Splash in the leather himself as LeBlanc trying to go back on that far side. Getting the glove out. Make the old little windmill save. 144 to go here in this 2 nothing hockey game in the second period. Bedford trying to get something to get some momentum going into the third period, but Picto has the puck right now. They're back the other way. They'll backhand pass cross ice looking for McDonald. McDonald gets pinched off as he looks for the puck along the board. Bedford trying to clear now. They chip it ahead, takes a bounce. Puck race back the other way, trying to get by the defender. Couldn't quite, but it's still picked up by Bedford. Great to face off, top, trying to rip the shot, but whiffs on it, and giving it a chance for the Crushers back the other way. They're over the blue line now. McDonald's, Blues player 
uh, loses a tire there, but able to pick the puck up in the corner. Cleared to the blue line. Kosh keeps that in as he fires one towards the net. McDonald trying to spin away from a check in the corner. Pokes it ahead. Goes in behind the net. They battle for it behind the net. They went for Yelland to move it. As it comes loose, after they're able to pick it up, try to go back to the blue line. Last minute to play here in the second period. McDonald down deep. MacArthur trying to bring it up front. Posh keeps it as he pinches in. Meisner now trying to find some room to move. Puts it out front. Trying to go back to the point. And not able to hold the line with MacArthur. Maybe a chance here. 14 with some speed for the Blues. And as he gets stick checked right at the line, the puck came just outside the blue line. He put himself offside. 24.6 left on the clock, second period. Offside faceoff will come outside the zone. Faceoff controlled by the Crushers. Reed chips it ahead. Trying to get by the defender. Can't get. Bedford trying to chip it ahead. And that one's going to go into the Crusher's bench. And almost a good catch there by the backup goalie Sutherland as it looked down below. Saw it go up in the air. He tried to reach out and grab it. 10.9 left on the clock here now, second period. Based off a of come right down below us in front of the bench. I'm going to dump that puck in at center. And maybe last second chance here for the Crusher. We can't get the shot on net as the puck comes to the corner. The horn's going to go. That's going to do it for us here after two. Two nothing your score. Shots on goal after 30 minutes. 29 to 18 in favor of the Crushers. We're going to take about a 10 minute break here. If that first two periods will tell you anything, the third period's going to be a good one. We'll see everybody in a few.
are back. Third Fury action, just get ready to get on their way. U13 AA action. Bedford Blues White taking on the Pictou County Crushers. 15 minutes up on the board to decide. Your provincial champions. They're excited here in the building. It's getting loud. 2-0 the Crushers lead. Let's see what the Blues drew up during that intermission. And here they are with the puck, shaping up for a two-on-one, right off that draw, short side, rips a shot, and there's LeBron with a beauty save. And the puck comes all the way back out the other way. Woolley chips it ahead, gives a little chase, able to find it in the corner. Trying to come back out front, there's a redirect. But couldn't get much on that far side. Woolley again, still looking for it. Now, out front, here it is, Sweeney, looking for a shot, and splash in the glove. Both goaltenders, 30 seconds in to this third period. If you're late getting back for the third, you just missed two huge saves from end to end. With LaPointe, like I mentioned earlier, on point, flashing the glove, and even that had a little extra wrist action. Face off will say deep in the zone here. Both players getting lined up, trying to go forward right off the draw. Miser looks for a shot, short side. That goes off the outside of the net. Blues rimming around that fire boards. Misses everything that comes all the way outside the zone. Trying to come back in his own zone now is Hollis. He throws it hard around the boards. Looking to pick it up is Burke. Burke along the boards, flicked up through the blue line. Miser gets taken down. Referee's arm is up. We're going to have a power play, but right now it's two on one inside the zone. Burke looking out for, for tapping on the back door, but can't quite tuck it home. Goaltender's out, extra attacker on, six on five. MacArthur looking for it now along the boards. Still has it. Oh, front. Meisner. Meisner for the wrister. Goes up top. And just getting a glove on that is LaPointe. Pinto still with it. They try to go back to the corner. But that hits a Bedford stick. And there's the call from the referees. So early third period power play opportunity here for the Crushers. As heading to the box for two or less is Smith. Just a minute 17 here into the uh, third period. Crush with a chance to add to their lead. And here Wade announcing the power play in the box. Him and Mike doing a great job all weekend in the timekeeper's box area. And looking for the puck in the corner now. Both teams trying to whack away at it. Sweeney looking. Far side. Let's go back here to the blue line. McLean has a look. Goes back down low. Right at the face off, Dahl, for the room, the movie, reach a shot! And there's LaPointe again, able to make that save. Covers up, gets a whistle. <laughs> had to get a little chuckle there. The defenders, or the, uh, the penalty killers of the Blues, a couple of them looking at the bench saying, really, already a change? Come on. But you want to have fresh legs out here, third period. You're playing for a championship here now. Back at the point, McLean, trying to go down low, Cameron. Looking for a little give and go. Cameron gets it back. Now the referee's arms up as the whistle goes. No goal as it's going to go against the Crushers. There's going to be, I've seen the Blues player get knocked down in front. Battling for some positioning out front. That'll kind of do it for the power play. Interference is going to be the call. It's going to go against Woolley. So we're going to have some four on four action. A minute 25 worth. As there's a good opportunity there for the Crushers to score in the power play. But number 12 for the Crushers, kind of a little too strong in front of it. And that's what we have four on four, but here's Little with the puck back in his own zone. Moves it up to Sanders. Sanders up to Sweeney. Puts the brakes on, looking for some room, trying to bring the puck with him. It pokes around, lands on a blue stick, and they're back the other way. Martel trying to break wide. And a good positioning there by the defender to pinch him off. We rim that around. Trying to chip it out towards center. Knocked down by Meisner. Meisner trying to bring the puck inside the zone. Still looking for it. But can't get by the blue. And that one's going to come just inside the line before the Picto player came back out. I was looking down at the lines to see if he was going to call it. He does. Good call. 49 seconds to go. Four on four. 12.32 remaining here in the third period. As we wait to see who's going to be the champion here for U13 AA. Still lots of time left. 
Bedford controls on the draw. Up at the blue line, a little more ice here now, four on four. They're gonna skate the inside the zone. Moves it up, there's a shot, there's a save, and has a little look around as he's able to kick that leg out and able to freeze it underneath his pad. Nice little left leg kick out there, makes a save, smothers the puck. 37 seconds to go now, four on four, face off in the zone. Controlled by Bedford, look towards them, there's a wrister deflected in front, and misses on the far side, comes to the corner. Pouliot looking for it, puts it in behind. Two players give chase. Crushers get as far as the blue line, but not out. Puts it back down in deep. That's picked off by the Crushers. They put it in behind. Trying to rim that around a little further. They chip it up ahead, kept it along the boards. Trying to go back up front, now it's picked up by MacArthur. MacArthur looking for some room now. He's down below us on the short side. Looks up front, but can't get by Hedford. In behind the net now, still with it. Trying to find a dance partner. Bedford on the power play now as the first penalty's over. And they have the puck. 25 seconds here on the power play. Looking up at center. Over the blue line. Trying to find some room. Takes it to the corner, but gets picked off by MacArthur. And he has the puck now looking up ice. Sees a man open fire side, but lucky for Bedford. He just gets a stick on that. Now Caldwell moves the puck over. They chipped up towards center. Over the blue line. But Picto. Quick to be on that puck. The puck comes in behind on the board. Caldwell trying to keep it in. They bang away at it. There's Caldwell again. He's able to hold that line. Now looking to come off the boards with it. But getting pinned as well. Comes back to Caldwell again. But this time he's unable to hold the line. Now we get a puck race as Woolley's flying up the ice. He's looking for the puck. He finds it. Trying to bring it back up front. On the backhand, throws a shot. Rebounds loose. They poke away and gets another one. And somehow that puck does not go in the net. Is all over the blue paint and LaPointe doing a great job. Now spinning and turning back the other way is Quinley. I can't quite get the shot on net. As we go end to end here between these two teams, now they're behind the net. Still trying to find it. Back in behind, they rim it around. Trying to slow down here a little bit and get some tired players out there. There's a pass out front, but can't quite connect. Comes all the way back to the blue line, and a good job there by the defender to hold that line. In behind the net now. Picto looking for it, they're getting along the wall, trying to clear. Can't get by the blue defender in front of him. He gets forced back to the corner. Now, Picto up ice. Willie looking up front. Goes off the blue skate, gets knocked into the zone. They were looking for a change anyway. Bedford with a chance to clear. But fresh off the bench of McCarthy, trying to keep that puck in. Still looking for it on the boards. Bedford able to shift that one ahead. Now trying to find it now. A little stick check in over the line and getting taken down. <coughs> Excuse me. As we had a, a quick little look over the shoulder there to see if there's going to be a call, but there wasn't. And they play for here at center, comes back to the Picto zone. Up front, a little chip up ahead, but Johnson able to intercept that. He's looking for some room to move. On the backhand now, chipped up by the player in front of him, was making a change, now that was picked off by MacArthur. He goes cross ice, looking for Reed. A little bit too far for him. Bedford back here in the neutral zone, over the blue line now, two on two. Wides up for the slap shot, rebounds loose. But good job by LeBlanc. Makes that first save. Puck dropped quickly down, but he was quicker to jump on that rebound. Makes the save, cover up to the appreciation of the Crushers fan underneath us. 9.03 to go here now, third period. As these two teams showing why they're the top teams in U13 AA. Giving us some great action. There's an outlet pass. Swanee looking for some room. Toe drag trying to bring it with him. And it comes all the way in as he tries to split the D, but he can't quite make it through. And the point making no chances there. As it comes in top of him, he's able to cover up, make the save. Down to 8.51 to go here now. In the third period. Face off deep in the blue zone. They pick it up right off the draw. Looking to bring the puck up ice, and he's able to. Looking to go wide now, trying to get around the defender. Does. Two on one shaping up. He likes to keep. Pass up front. And another save as the net gets knocked off as two players collide in. But LeBlanc able to kick that leg out again. It's a great individual effort there by the Bedford player as he's slow to get up. As he's feeling that one, as he pulled it right to the front of the net. 
And I believe that was Poulot with a great chance there. Would have been a beauty goal, but it was a beauty save. The puck's gonna come outside the zone as the Bedford player knocked the net off. 8.39 to go here, third period. Face off one all the way back to the blue zone. Peacock looking for it. The chip one ahead. Bounces up to the neutral zone. Southern the last man back in his own zone. Trying to spin away from a four checker. Loses an edge, but he makes the play to move the puck up. Martel trying to put it right back in. Martel gains the line. Martel looking towards the net. Fakes the shot. Holds. And then spins away. Still with it now. Got three white jerseys on him. He's able to get the puck in deep. Little trying to retrieve it first. As players get knocked down, now Bedford in the far corner. Boudreaux trying to come out of the way. He gets taken down, referee's arms up, and as Picto touches the puck, there's gonna be a penalty. Tripping's going to be the call. 7.55 to go. Sutherland's gonna head to the box for two or less. If you're Bedford, now's the time. Power play opportunity, get on the scoreboard. Cut this lead in half. Lots of time left here in the third. Power play for the Blues. A draw comes right to the Crushers. They're looking for it in the corner. Bedford trying to retrieve it. Smith in there, battling hard, still looking for it. And he has it, throws the backhand over front, but just getting up is Hollis. And that pass wasn't able to get over front. Now a chance here, Woolley. Short-handed, looking for some room, trying to split the D. But getting a good stick on that was Caldwell as it comes to the corner. MacArthur, or Woodley, sorry, still looking for it. Bedford able to retrieve it out of the scrum. Trying to skate the puck up ice now. Boudreau trying to break wide. Down below the circle, looking out front. There's a pass. Short side, then you're going to go back over the wraparound. Boudreaux still whacking away at it. Can't quite get the shot on net. Back to the blue line. Caldwell looking towards the net. Lines up for the wrister. And that's blocked in front. Rebounds loose. They whack away at it. Everybody trying to find it. And the Crushers do look for some open ice. And send that down the length. A minute to go here in the power play. Pepper's turned back in their own zone. And there's MacArthur four checking and causing all kinds of havoc down low. Bedford gets as far as the blue line by not out as McLean hammers one back into the corner. On the boards, Quinley chips it ahead. That lands right on a crusher stick, and they're gonna send them right back into their own zone. Here we are now in the corner, rims it around to the blue line. Kept in momentarily. Bedford able to chip this back out. Looking for it at neutral zone, right in front of the penalty box area. Bedford is able to find it. What a crowd we got here. They are into it below us. Pass out front. Can't quite connect. It's in the skates. Now they find it. Johnson trying to get a shot off. But can't get it. It's uh, Littles all over him. Kept in at the blue line now. Picked up in the corner. Spinning away from him. Didn't realize he was in the skates. Now trying to clear. And the puck does get outside the line. Sweeney looking for it. Dumps that in. Didn't get too far in the zone though. Still looking for it. Still has it. As the penalized players back on the ice are back to five on five. There's that number. This time, sorry, I thought it was number 10, but he's back here. It was MacArthur. Bed for the chance. Chips it ahead. A little chase now. Trying to get to the corner. As Kosh able to get there first. Moves it up to Reed. Reed backhand pass cross ice. Woolley can't quite handle it. Picked up by Bedford. And they're over the zone now. Codwell, look for some room. He lines up for a wrister. That hits a stick and goes off the outside of the net. Up top now. Burke trying to get around Boudreaux. That's a Bedford player. Codwell has lost his stick, and there's a good assist from the assistant coach on the bench to hand him the stick. Now here comes Bedford the other way. Five minutes to go, three on two. Little chip. Trying to go there first, getting there first was Hollis, he rims it around. And here comes the Crushers. Woolley, one on one, trying to find some room to dance, trying to pull it back up front, likes to shoot, and there's no room on that short side. LaPaul had his post well covered. Now Bedford again, again, we're just going end to end here. Over the blue line, looking for a shot, there it is, but it's well up over high over the net. Trying to find it in the corner now. Oh, front, it lands on a picto stick, and they put it against the wall. 
Bedford back to the blue line, losing an edge, maybe a chance here. Burke looking to spring it alone, trying to get back. Pass out front, and it's a beauty. McDonald looks to shoot it. Oh, what a great defensive play, but the referee's arm is up. And we're going to get the call, and it's going to be body contact. Look like not a bad defensive play, but what do I know? I'm up here, they're down there. It's a beauty pass out front. But either way, the call's going to go against, against the, uh, the Blues. Body contact is the call. Two minutes up from the call. 4.14 to go here now in the third period. I have to say, they score in the power play here. That would probably be it. As in the box is number 12, Lada Riviera. And here's Pepper. Right off the draw. There's the glove of LaPointe to make the save cover up. And we'll redo that face off. Just five seconds ticking off on the power play. And then Crusher get the draw. Little trying to get the wrist. It didn't get much on it. It comes to the corner though. Swanee back up top. Sutherland holds the line, gives it back to him. Looking out front now, there's the pass. Good active stick by the defender. Back in front, in alone, and tucks it home. Backhand, forehand, back of the net. Power play marker, number 10 for the Crushers. It's three to nothing. <laughs> 3.54 left here in the third period. The Blues need one, they need one quick. Crusher's trying to hold on here now. They get the puck right at center of the draw. There's Cameron gonna knock that in deep. Bedford, little chip play, but can't get it out. Crusher's gonna knock it right back in deep. As everything now, they're trying to kill time off on this clock as it's in their favor. Chipped ahead. Crusher's getting little chipped ahead. This time, though, that was on the wrong side of the red line. And that one's going to be icing here at the 13U level. They're allowed to change on the icing, so they can get some fresh legs out there. Faceoff will come all the way back to the crusher zone. 3.29 to go now here in the third. Sweeney with the, uh, his second of the game. MacArthur with the assist, and here's Woolley able to clear the zone. Maybe a two on one. He's got to like to shoot. And another save there, short side, but rebounds loose. Bedford able to rim it around. Picked up by. And here we got a chance here. Bedford able to find it. Here's a two on one back the other way. Maybe he's alone. First a shot. But he misses the net. And that one's got to come all the way back to the blue line. Johnson able to hold the line. Samuelson trying to hold it as well. But Mines are able to clear it. Bedford back the other way. We'll keep an eye on the goaltender here. Here's Bedford over the line again. Short side. Looking back out front. Rebounds loose. And that hits a body in front as LeBlanc made the first save. Now Picto looking to clear. Pass over to Cameron. Cameron winding one up right from outside the blue line. That hits the leg. Goes in deep. Two and a half to go here now. Third period. Bedford looking to move the puck up ice. They're over the red line. Chip it in, looking for a change. And there's Burke, ready to chip it right back out. Goes cross ice, back in their own zone. Swinney then looking for it. That one's gonna come just outside the line. Pictor's gonna have to tag back up on the offside. Chance for Bedford to be able to move here. Almost at the two minute warning here in the third period. Another chip in. Picto gets there first. Starting to break out along the wall. But Martel's on them down the corner, trying to Freed along the boards. Gets pushed back again. Martel again. Behind the net now, looking out front. Still has it. Elects to hold it. Throws a shot on net. Doesn't make it through, but there's a rebound. Goaltender still in the net for the Blues. Another pass out front. That lands on a Picto stick. They send that down the length of the ice. Not going to make it far enough for icing. A minute and a half to go here now. Bedford deep in their own zone. And down there on the four check, Looking for it is Reed. Reed all over the puck. It does square loose, goes to the far corner. Bedford looks at the break, goes cross ice. Little read that and is able to pick that off. He throws it right back in deep. They want to keep this puck as far away from their goaltender as possible. 
Little again, right back in the corner. Last minute to play here in the third period. Puck bounces over the line. Three on two shaping up for Bedford as they bring it over the blue line. Breaks wide, short side. That misses everything, comes all the way to the blue line and all the way back. Not gonna be icing as Bedford shot the puck. 40 seconds ago now. Crusher's on the puck, looking out front, trying to get the shot off. But Little is gonna step in there, just put it right to the corner, down to 30 seconds ago. Little again, pitching in. Woolley behind the net now. 20 seconds ago. One last chance here for the Blues. They want to get on the scoreboard. Breaking wide with some speed. Short side, but can't quite get the shot off. Now looking to go up front. That's blocked by McLean. Under 10 to go. Behind the net, trying to free. It comes loose. There's a chance, but a good stick there by the player. And they count it down. Three, two, one, as the horn goes. We present to you your 13 UAA champions, the Pictou County Crushers. And we can say the S word now. It's a three nothing shutout for Evan LeBlanc. Final shots on goal, 39 to 32 in favor of the Crushers. Mike Kelly here, High Button Sports. Want to thank everybody for tuning in. It was a good one to start the day. We'll be here all day. We've got four games on tap. Next game coming up at 11 o'clock. We'll have some U15B action. And it's a Sackville versus Sackville game. Black versus orange. I'm going to take a quick break here. We'll watch the, uh, the, the team celebrate down on ice as they shake hands. Thank you everybody for tuning in. We'll see you everybody in the next game.